Welcome to my channel. I have another quick um, little flip through of a junk journal that I've created. And it's with this little storyteller book by Superscope. It was um, copyrighted 1975. And it's Gulliver's Travels. And I just, um, I haven't made any, or not many, this um, size, this small. And so I didn't put uh, a lot of uh, pages, you know, extra pages in it. So it, it's a small one and compact, um, but you can use it for anything that you would, you know, any other journal, just in a smaller version. So, but I fell in love with the colors, um, the hot pink and the greens and golds and very um, retro-like. Yeah, so I used my Zutter Bind It All to bind it and just used these silver rings and added um, colorful coordinating uh, ribbons on the side. I thought that was pretty. And um, all of the pages, oh, let me go back, let's see. The size is six and a quarter inches tall six inches wide and that includes um the um, the width is with the the o-rings and it's about three quarters to an inch thick and it has more than 30 pages i think it's 31 and all of the original story pages are included and in order so you could read it as a story if you'd like so on the front cover i added a book library pocket and a library book card and here's the title page, cute little characters. And then original book page, I made a um, tag. It almost looks like a little bookmark. You could use it as a bookmark if you wanted. It's very um, sturdy with some scrap book paper, scrap scrapbook paper. Um, I'm trying to use up a lot of the scraps that I've got that I'm, you know, not using. Added a real pretty um, plum colored ribbon to the top of that and attached it to the page with this arrow paper clip. And there's plenty of room for journaling in here. You could also journal, um, you know, cover these with something like, say, um, you know, a piece of um, gridded, you know, paper and use that to journal in. Uh, you could paint over, you know, the photos, I mean, the illustrations in the book if you wanted. There's some blank spaces, so, you know, you could do anything you wanted in this journal. Um, this is a little um, cute card, vintage card I got from Stephanie at Above Par Crafts, r a library book um, return reminder. And this is a page from, I forget what this book is. Anyway, Vintage Children's Book. J and H page, original book page. Then this scrap of paper opens up, folds out. And this is a piece of my tea stained um, copy paper. Original book page. And then this scrapbook paper I just folded up and stitched here along the side to make it a pocket and in the pocket I put a little um, you know blank page little journal um, book sort of like a matchbook and just stitch some trim at the top oops there's the back of that original book page Another um, cool card that I, a vintage card I got from Stephanie at Above Par Crafts, and I just added this cool metallic sheer ribbon at the top. It already had the hole punched in it. I guess they probably went in like a card catalog setup. Um, you know, and they would have the rods. That's probably the, actually the bottom of the card. You know, they'd have the rods in the drawer that the cards would slide on. Yep, scrapbook paper original book page. This scrap opens up. It flips out to the right. This would be super cool because you could write in the um, white lines on that. That'd be neat. 
original book page. Oh, I need to put something in this. I don't know what I'll put in it, um, but just to show you what this is. Oh, I've got a little, oh, here's something I cut out for my junk journal. A little, um, just picture of a painting. It, this clear pocket has an opening in the back, a little slit, so you can place something, you know, in that pocket, a picture, photograph, you know, or a piece of, of art or, you know, something like that. I will have something in this pocket um, before I pack it up and get it ready for my Etsy shop. Um, a guest check, pink. I love the colors in this book, you know, the lime greens and the pinks and blues, some purple and brown. It's just, it's fabulous book page original and then I came across some of these I think they're called postalettes and I don't know the date on that already stamped the vintage stamp <laughs> a giant playing card with uh, dogs that are dressed up like little gnomes I thought that was kind of ironic kind of cool because of the you know little people um, in here with Gulliver that was kind of cute. Original book page. Another um, piece of um, story from the children's book. Uh, this paper, I once again folded this up um, and just stitched it to make this side a pocket and added a tag, which has some really good spots for writing in and the back is plain. And this is a CD holder, and I put inside of it um, a vintage children's book illustration of this Indian. And I got another piece of paper in here from the same book um, farther back. Yeah, I just thought that was such a cute um, illustration. It shows his reflection in the water. Anyway, just stitch that on. Another vintage library card of some sort. Here's the other page from the, the Indian child's, children's Indian story. And this of course has some really um, neat spots you could journal on or art. And a, um, original book page, scrap paper, and I just added some tickets. And this one is vintage, I know. This one is not the two, just a number um, cut out from something. And I'm not sure about the $1.25 ticket, the pink one. But the colors all went so well with this um, book. And I just have it attached with this embellished paper clip that has some sheer pink ribbon. The journaling area story page and some you know good area down here to journal in I usually put my library pocket and card in the back but I didn't want to um, lose this um, illustration on the back cover so I opted to put it up front which I've seen a lot of people do but usually our library books always had the pockets in the back so that's just what I'm used to so it was a little hard for me to do but Anyway, it works, and you can decorate that, put your name on it, you know, whatever you'd like. Anyway, I just thought this was a sweet little little book and um, would be fun to, you know, work in. Um, if you haven't ever used a junk journal before, this would be a good um, way to try it out or, um, you know, for whatever, whatever you want. But anyway, I love the colors. Um, they really appealed to me and I actually like the size. It feels good. So if you're interested, stop by my Etsy shop. It's the Beaufort Bell at Etsy. And um, take a look. It's It'll be listed by the time I get this video up, I hope. <laughs> and I'm working on a series of these little um, type books and little um, golden book journals. Um, trying to use up some of my scraps and I like to throw some vintage ephemera and you know bits and pieces that I have in as I can and um, yeah so stop by and take a look
Glad to have you over. Bye.